When you sell homes, it's about sharing the story of a property and finding the right buyer to give the key. And all these signs are original. This time, Krista Schwartz of Fathom Realty doesn't have the usual job of giving the key to a property. Oh, she's got so much more than that cut out for her. We're selling an entire town. I have been a realtor 14 years and I have never met any other realtors who have sold a whole town. Water Valley, Tennessee comes with seven acres, four general stores from before 1900, a stock barn, a little creek, and no profanity. So there. And it also comes with the little things that make its story. The hole in the wall that was once a store's mail slot, the fruit picker, hanging on the wall. It was all about the apple trees at one time here. This particular town became famous for the apple orchards that were all through this area back in the late 1800s. It was thriving so much that the railroad came through here. Krista says in the 30s and 40s, no one would have guessed the porches would one day be so quiet. Cedar trees were introduced to the area. They carried a little blight with them that killed off all the apple trees. Soon after that, the railroad stopped running through. That's probably the ending of a lot of little towns around America. So Water Valley became one of several towns waiting for its next chapter while on sale. So how much do you pay for a town? Well, Bridgeville, California is on the market for $1.5 million. You can have Henry River Mill Village in North Carolina for $1.4 million. Then there's Cleeter, Arizona for one buck under a million dollars. The Water Valley is actually going for less than all three of those. You can buy it for $725,000. And yes, towns go for lower than that. You can own the six acre Sweat, South Dakota for $250,000, well below the average cost of a condo. In the case of Water Valley, the sale will be going to the four people who have owned the town the past 20 years. And they do have specific buyers in mind. Buyers not bothered by the occasional cow on the road. <laughs> The idea is to perhaps model it after the nearby Leaper's Fork, a little picket fence oasis in the middle of farmland, maybe with antiques, homemade ice cream, and a wedding venue. Krista says the offers are already coming in, but just like any other town for sale, it's about what buyers cut out to end up with that key. It is very special to be selling a town. This is a story, and I want to drink deeply of it while I have this little bit of time that I get to be a part of the story. In Water Valley, Tennessee, I'm Forrest Sanders.